Hello everyone, it's Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars, and I'm coming right back at you with yet another spectacular vehicle. Today I'm sitting behind the wheel of an absolutely beautiful 1946 Ford Tudor, which is actually a two-door custom loaded with a ton of modern equipment. This vehicle is selling as part of our No Reserve Collection at the upcoming New England Auto Auction in Owls Head, Maine. It's selling on Saturday, August 26th. You don't want to miss it. You've got to check it out. To start off this uh, presentation here, uh, if you have or have not been following MS Classic Cars, please note that I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. We've been doing that since inception. We are very proud to say that we are the only classic car dealership in the country that thoroughly services every vehicle that we sell and we document that work with an invoice. As an example, with this brand new uh, binder that I create for every vehicle, the first thing that you see here is the invoice that documents all the work. As an example, uh, with this vehicle here, we invested a total of $5,012.43, making sure it's ready for the new owner to enjoy. Once these vehicles are done through the service process, we bring them into our detail room. We spend countless hours detailing them from the bottom to the top to make them as clean as what you see in this video and also in the photos. We ask that you please visit our website at msclassiccars.com. Not only do we have a full description, but we typically have over 200 photos of every car that we sell, so you can go in and see every square inch of every vehicle. Again, if you haven't heard of MS Classic Cars, please do your homework. So. I'm going to go ahead and flow into this uh, description here that I have personally composed and put together. Uh, sorry if it's going to be boring at times, but the point of this is to be educational uh, so the new owner um, can understand what the vehicle is and how special it is. So let's start off. This marvelous 1946 Ford Tudor Custom, again, it's a two-door sedan, is a one-of-a-kind resto mod and part of the MS Classic Cars No Reserve Collection. The goal of this bill was to create a show quality and user-friendly vehicle that checks all the boxes. It was the perfect vehicle to enjoy with friends and family. I will say uh, that when I saw this vehicle, it was actually at a car show. I was with my dad, and um, matter of fact, it was right in Massachusetts uh, in Foxborough at the Gillette Stadium where the Patriots play, and I saw it out there. Uh, there was a gentleman standing next to it. We got talking. As soon as I walked around it and saw the beautiful bodywork and the beautiful color and this awesome interior, I knew I was buying it before we even finished the conversation. Uh, so this is a vehicle that really has grown on me. Uh, Corey that works for me, he said the same thing. It's like the more time that you spend around it, the cooler it gets. It's just a super, super cool car. Uh, again, when I said it's the perfect vehicle to enjoy with friends and family, it's because of its really spacious interior and modern conveniences. 
Uh, since completion, it's only been, it's been driven a total of 11,600 miles, which is a true testament of its character. Again, this vehicle is extremely well uh, sorted out. The exterior is total eye candy with its stylish design and color combination. During the bodywork process, the front marker lights, the door handles, the deck lid handle, and the rear tail lights were shaved for a clear, a clean, very smooth appearance. If you go online and you look at what a 46 looks like, you'll notice in the back that the tail lights are kind of uh, mounted to the back and they kind of come out like such. Uh, those have again have been smooth and clean. The back of it is just super, super nice. Uh, again, uh, the body is really straight throughout. It's got nice gaps. The hood, the doors, the deck lid close really nicely. Uh, the body was repainted in Barrett Jackson Cobalt Blue, which is eye-popping. This is a absolutely stunning color. Uh, the deep paint was recently detailed to a brilliant shine by the team at MS Classic Cars. Um, the paint was decorated with a light blue pinstripe that also looks beautiful. All the windows were replaced new and slightly tinted. Um, again, these this windshield here is actually kind of a folding windshield where it's got a nice seam down the middle. You got these massive uh, door windows here. Same thing with the rear quarter windows. And then of course the window in the back, definitely a uh, cabin space with a ton of light. Uh, definitely makes it feel really roomy. Um, Everything on the exterior was restored or replaced, such as all the chrome uh, strips, all the rubber trim, the wiper arms, the front end trim, the headlight bezels, the chrome uh, grill with that red trim that actually matches the interior and the red wheels. Uh, again, everything is brand new uh, really on the outside. Some of the custom exterior features include side mounted antenna, which you'll see uh, over there. Also the LED headlights, the painted front bumper, uh, the LED tail lights and LED third brake light. It's, they really did a nice job putting those LED uh, tail lights in the bottom, uh, again, where that original bumper would have been. And then that third brake light is actually uh, attached to the window in the back. Uh, and again, it lights up really nice. It has a great stance on the error correct. 15 inch red steel wheels with chrome trim rings and Ford center caps. You will notice how the center caps actually say Ford and red. Again, it looks perfect. Now, as we get into the interior, the fully custom red interior uh, was upholstered uh, throughout and it's very spacious and it's loaded with options. The red headliner fits perfectly and there are two dome lights on the center pillars. Once again, they did a beautiful job. This is a leather material on this headliner here. Uh, there's no real wrinkling. Everything is super tight. Those little tiny lights on the pillars here, they light up really uh, nicely. Again, one of my favorite parts of this interior here is that huge headliner. Um, the dash was completely fabricated. It was also trimmed uh, with a silver accent strip, which looks like it's machine turned, uh, similar to what the Pontiac Trans Ams used to use in the center. They did a really, really nice job on that dash, making it simple and super clean. Uh, it's been outfitted uh, with extremely comfortable front and rear bucket seats with seat belts for all passengers. The floors were covered with plush carpeting and molded floor mats. Now, Listen to all the features that this vehicle has in the interior. Uh, again, we got a chrome rear view mirror. Uh, we've got um, uh, three black uh, autometer gauges. We got a red tilt steering column with billet levers. We got a banjo steering wheel with a black wrap. We have a V8 uh, horn button. We have vintage air conditioning, uh, which blows ice cold. We have power locks uh, with remote poppers. We have power windows. Uh, the pedals are customized. It does have a Sony uh, head unit with door speakers and speakers that are in the rear tray uh, in the back. Now, the full length matching center console houses the AC controls, the rear camera uh, screen, the custom shifter, two cup holders in the front. Uh, we got a cell phone holder. We have an armrest. We have a storage compartment. The rear passenger area is super spacious. This is what I was getting in, into earlier in the uh, presentation when I had said that you can put all your friends and all your family in here. That's one of the biggest problems with classic cars is space. This thing has got a ton of space, uh, so you can really have a great time with it. The back is also uh, equipped with cup holders, armrest, and storage compartment. It is a true 
full length console. Um, in my estimate, just this interior alone, from all the stuff that I've learned over the years, if you were to have somebody take this from a shell and design the headliner and the sun visors and this whole fabricated dash, all these door panels, these seats, the carpeting, the console, all the options, you'd be looking at twenty thirty thousand dollars to do this interior in today's pricing uh so again a lot of money really went into this into this build now when you open up the rear uh, trunk compartment you'll notice that it was also boxed and it was upholstered in the same matching uh leather interior a custom battery box was also integrated in the uh right hand corner you will see that the lid comes off so you can actually access the battery there's a uh, power on and off knob again you can see that in all of our pictures. Um, there's even a red top Optima battery with an accessible charger and cord that you can plug in when the vehicle is in storage. They even put in a separate trunk compartment light that has its own switch. So whenever you're operating at nighttime and you want to put something back there, you can see uh, definitely was a great idea. As we make our way to the engine compartment, it is really nice detailed throughout with many custom touches. The back side of the hood and the firewall was painted body color and then it was uh, outfitted with mirrors to look like a jewelry box. That was the whole point when they did this build is they wanted to highlight the engine bay. What better way to do it than add uh, mirrors like you would see in a jewelry box. It is truly uh, a beautiful engine compartment. The car is powered by a GM350 uh, V8 crate engine that was painted red. Again, following the theme of the entire build. The engine was outfitted with Edelbrock aluminum heads. It's got red finned uh, valve covers and air cleaner. Um, it was dressed with a polished carburetor, chrome AC compressor, pulleys, brackets, and alternator. Again, they did a really nice job with that. The engine is cooled by a brand new radiator with a cooling components uh, fan shroud. It also has a chrome front housing and overfill canister. Again, you can see this in all of our uh, pictures. Now, the engine breathes through custom headers and a dual exhaust system with cherry bomb style mufflers. When I say cherry bombs, they're kind of like a thin, elongated uh, muffler. They sound really good. You'll hear that in a minute when I start it. Now, the engine is coupled to a 700 R4 automatic transmission, which was recently rebuilt by George's Transmission. Like to give George a shout out. He does all of our transmission work at MS Classic Cars, does a great job. We had that whole transmission completely rebuilt, so it shifts beautifully. Um, it is equipped with a transmission cooler, which is mounted uh, in the front for proper airflow. Uh, the power is transferred to a Ford 9-inch rear end with 373 gears. So think about the drivetrain. They didn't skip any steps. Once again, they didn't want to make this thing so powerful that you couldn't drive it. They wanted to make it user-friendly, and that's exactly what they did. Perfect selection, in my opinion, with all the parts. Now, when you get to the undercarriage, it's also very nicely detailed throughout with many custom touches. Everything was painted silver underneath for a clean appearance. Uh, you'll notice some insulation that was added uh, to the floors to keep the cabin cool. Uh, in the front of the vehicle, we have a Mustang II uh, rack with a power steering system and adjustable coil over shocks. So once again, you can adjust the front suspension. It has power steering. It's got all the good stuff. Uh, the rear setup was uh, shocks and also rear sway bar. It is equipped with power front disc brakes. It does have a new fuel tank and it also has a lighted uh, license plate. Now, additionally, it does have LED lights that were placed under the hood and wheel wells for nighttime cruising. Uh, when Corey did some of the photos, you will see uh, the light around the wheels and everything, which is just a uh, icing on the cake. So once again, the car has been completely serviced and detailed. Uh, which is documented with an invoice that we have included. So that uh, sums up my presentation on this beautiful vehicle. Uh, before I go ahead and start it, I would ask if you have not signed up for the MS Classic Cars VIP email blast, please do so. That is the best way to follow us and what we're doing. Uh, we have thousands and thousands of people that are on that list. We also are on all the social media networks, so we would ask that you follow us uh, on you know, Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and all that good stuff. We really, really appreciate it. I'll say it over and over again. MS Classic Cars is not a huge high volume dealership, but we are definitely doing huge things. Again, do your homework on us. And remember, this vehicle is selling with no reserve. 
starts at zero, high bid wins. If you can't make it to the New England Auto Auction on Saturday, August 26th, uh, you can use the phone. You can actually bid on the phone. You can bid online. Uh, again, it's easy to register, so just give them a call. Ask for Toby Stinson. He's in charge of the operation. He's a good friend of mine. He'll get you set up to bid. No matter where you are in the country, you'll have no problem bidding. Again, no reserve. Don't miss this opportunity. Uh, I am going to go ahead and start it now. This is a cold start. We have not started this vehicle in probably four, five, six days. I just wanted to show you how nice it starts cold. And then uh, once it warms up in a minute or so, I'll give it some revs, let you listen how beautiful she sounds. Okay, here we go. Can't make that up. That's a cold start, purring like a kitten. We appreciate you watching this video, and as always, rock and roll.